round five pick. Bro, are you a coach or something? <laughs> <laughs> Unemployed. <Really? laughs> <laughs> All right. So where we want to keep our eyes on here when you think about the way that, that gives them a bit more security. With the way the, the league has been going, it looks like it's quite possible a team with three wins will actually make it into the top eight. We, oh, yeah. we thought originally four was like a cutoff where in the pass at the halfway mark, four wins has got you in. There's Rock's looking for a stun here. Mercer can try and jump back to Ruby, who do exactly that. And then Flash Emperor's Revive will lock them away from it. Mercer very low, just surviving. You're being used to keep Mercer alive, but this man invested just pop in. by Yankos and he's five more autos to open up that eye once again. Does have the smite. Only 21 on it though, so a better smite from Razork, and Razork will secure it. The eye sitting there, Wonder trying to get away from this as he pops the needlework, but he's scooped back with the Emperor's Divide, and Wonder will pay for that secure of the Herald with his life. Oh, and then Ruby's like, nope. And <laughs> Wonder is in fact yeah. they're not out. Yanko's gonna meet up with Razork here. Realmorb coming in though as Humanoid looks for the chase. Locked down with a cease and desist. The Cyclone clone, though, knocking up Wonder. Not enough. The All Out, though, will pull Wonder back underneath the tower. Two tower shots, not enough to kill him off. Evi will fall to Humanoid. And for now, we've already seen what uh, a Gwen can do into a Cassante in the last game between G2 and Vitality here. Wonder has a 1.2k gold lead. Rift may get out of it, can do a lot of work. A little bit more expensive, but. Razork was able to avoid it as Evi tries to get away here. Chain of Corruption will land, but no one really able to get on the tower yet. The needle works, though. The range, the Fnatic can play out, is absolutely gargantuan as Humanoid tries to escape here and will be able to phase rush his way away. Ruby looking for the final soldier. Will secure that kill. One for one trade, but the tower going over to Fnatic. Wonder really carry playing into Wonder because it sets up for the play that we saw in top lane. Rux though, get in the tower. Hang on a second. I mean, that was, that was very greedy, Rux. He's gonna have to flash away. Even up. Out the tower killing a few minions. So he killed off one wave. He's gonna get a couple of minions from this one as well. And in the end, he will secure it. Only the mid lane control, because as you can see, Fnatic are pushing that wave in. Evie's gonna try and stop them, but Fnatic have sacrificed the bottom side of their map to try and get this mid lane tower. The dragon is up in two seconds time, and now Fnatic will use their mid prior to try and walk down here. In fact, they're gonna use the realm walk. Mercer a little bit out of position as Chase comes in with a cease and desist. Ruby's gonna go in with the Empress Divide as well as Razzle's locked back with, 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 without the rest of his team. Razzle will fall, but so far it's a two for one in favor of Fnatic. Wonder now doing some damage, but Jack Spectre with the lightning crash is building up those stacks pretty lickety split as he continues to wail away on Rux. Lightning after lightning, not quite enough as Epi on the backline can't well, die at all, apparently, as he gets double kill. Jack Spectre still trading with Reckless and Rux. And Another quick Q coming out from Reckless means that Another kill goes into Fnatic's back pocket, but we're back on the fight. The players heard us, they keep fighting. Season and desist once again onto the back line. Ruby has been locked up and taken out by Razzle before the fight even really begins. Epi down as well, and Team Heretics have to retreat. Flashes away. Dragon now for Fnatic. The game has come alive. Back-to-back -back fights going in favor of Fnatic. It seems that Heretics haven't quite reached that point in the game where they feel strong. <laughs> anyway. And Yankos now, oh, is it going to be a good steal again? Or is he going to get caught out? Gets to the blast cone, Razzle looks for the season and desist, but now Razzle's in the midst of all of Team Heretics. Jack Spectre with the lightning crash, putting the damage down, the Unbreakable blocks any route for Fnatic to get into the fight. The difference between the two top laners right now, well, that's 45 in favor of Wonder. He's not a fan of these lane assignments. It's just so much fun yeah. being lost. And, that, and that, it's a tier two that you're yes. losing as well. Heretics playing the map very strange. They, they seem very attached. And Wonder has to TP in. But Wonder can get the inhibitor tower before the TP does even comes in. Does he have to TP in? I mean, eventually you have to feel that perhaps he may be... Well, I don't know if he does. I think okay. that they can just play the patient game here. You can see Wonder is just waiting. Yep. Now There's he feels the, the pressure. Okay, 5,000 HP on the Baron. Heretics trying to call the Fnatic this. to the fight. Looking for the engage. Baron secured. Yankos gets it, but now the fight really begins afterwards. Cease and desist from Azul will take out one Yankos with the Cyclone as well. Evi trying to get across the wall, but the Rail Warp will chase them. Evi... And Mercer, well, Ebi's already fallen. Ruby was able to escape with his, uh, his empowered recall from the Baron. Mercer's not going to have the same luxury as he is chased down. So you, you get a Baron on one, you, you lose your inhibitor tower. That's. Uh... I do not think that was worth it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Heretics were so tunneled on this Baron. And then the AD carry ends up getting locked down. A, a very easy fight for Fnatic to play. They're going to convert this into the Dragon. And yeah, okay, they lost the Baron. So. I just... With the way that Fnatic and Heretic splits have gone, 
I didn't want to put the impetus on them winning another game after this one. <laughs> okay. Wow. It has been a struggle at times. Throw under the bus like that. I mean, that, this game has been a lot better than Fnatic, though. As I say that, Razork has been caught out. He has. Yeah, that has just happened. It's kind of like... It's interesting how Fnatic punished a massive mistake from Heretics. Now, admittedly, I don't think Heretics is going to gain a massive amount off the back of yeah. that. They will get some objective advantage, right, but Wonder is just... He's a menace on a side lane right now. He cannot be stopped. Oh, situation of, well, you either have to contest the Baron or you have to contest the Dragon. Meanwhile, Wonder is sitting in the side lane, split pushing. He's running Demolish as well, I think, on this uh, Gwen. As that tower falls down very quickly. And as a reminder, two TPs. Rubies is up in five seconds. The bot wave is in a good spot for Heretics. And now is they're looking fine? to have him group up with the team. The TP flank coming in from the Gwen. Season to this onto Jack Spectre. Now Jack Spectre takes Razork the long way around. Lightning Crash coming down as well. Jack Spectre and Razork fighting off towards the top side, but Wonder with that flank is in the perfect position to isolate the AD carry. Jack Spectre tries to dash back across and does manage to make it to his team. He's somehow still alive. He cleanses, he dashes, he dances away. And Jack Spectre survived for long enough for Heretics to win out the fight. That was gorgeous from the Heretics AD carry. But Heretics, yes, the whole win condition for Heretics is just group and fight and this was the first time where they could get a very clean I'm I'm shocked yeah, I, mean, I am shocked I that really Heretics have been another look in spot I... he has his TP he's pushed the wave all the way in oh Yankos half HP Razzle though locked up in his Q animation Cycling coming flash. in as well tries to go in with the season and desist but it's not enough the stopwatch from Yankos stops the damage from the piercing arrow from Reckless mm -hmm. and he's got force of nature so he can run away really quickly after Humanoid puts some damage down. Six stacks, oh, now he no, goes in with the all out. Humanoid. No way, can Kassad did just do this? The guy's level eight. Okay, no, he can't. Forest like, did oh, help. The Baron steal is possible already. Oh, no, no, there's it's no not. one near the Baron. Razzle is dead. It's okay. My well, heretics get the Baron in exchange for Ebby's life, and that's a trade the Shrimp will be very happy to make. Do you know, the principle is that you have a champion with TP pushing in a bot lane, two people then come to kill that person, and while the two people are killing that person... on the top side of the map here, and that's an open inhibitor. Jack Spectre's gonna try and open up the mid lane, and he'll do exactly that with the Baron, but Beckler's trying to defend against it, but he really can't do too much. Healing from the Immortal Shubo will top Jack Spectre back up. Now, Humanoid is waiting. Do Does Humanoid well more pin when they try and fight one? I think the answer is yes. Does this, does this happen in the mid lane as well? Yes, Jack Spectre's just gonna, gonna die. die. He just goes into the GA. There's no one here to defend him. Heretics sent everyone back to try and deal with Wonder. And it's a trade of shutdowns, two for one. In facing for it. Master flashes, reckless flashes. The dragon, however, will be secured. Yeah, okay. Clean. I mean, I guess it ends up being an even trade overall, but Heretics walk away with the dragon. Over in any case, Ebby's now in danger. No ghost, because remember, he used it earlier, trying to get away from this, but already he's chunked down to half HP. All out going in as well. Jack Spectre going in with the lightning crash. Some damage with the Emperor's Divide as well. Ruby tries to get on the back line. Wonder now trying to do what he can, but he's already fallen. Ruby goes down as well, but Rux and Razzle are bleeding, ticking away. Yankos dives in. There's another as Rox goes down. Now Humanoid, the next target, and he will fall too. Razzle trying to escape, but Yankos not going to let him. In the end, only Reckless stands. The final fanatic hope you feel here. He charges up an arrow. He can't kill off Jack Spectra. He tries to get away from Yankos, but he will not escape today. The shot the I think it's just double inhib angle. Ebby tanking the tower here will at least be the mid inhib. The bot inhib is going to fall as well. Rux I think up. they should recall. Yeah. I agree with you, Betty. They will do exactly that as soon as they split their focus. They were aiming to go back. Baron up in a minute, and we'll have another look at that bot lane. Yeah, so if, if we can also get some slow-mo observers when when we actually do get to see Ruby's uh, ultimate. The initial idea here from Fnatic is really good, but watch what Ebi does here. He, he shields up, walks away to create space, and then keep track of Ruby in the fight. I'm trying to find him myself. Able to dash in from the back line, completely catches Fnatic off guard. Four members end up getting hit, and this just creates so much space for Jack Spectra to tear apart this Fnatic lineup. Reckless is doing what he can from the back lines, but the, the, the threat that is this far and started by Heretics already down to 6,000 HP. Razzle trying to get in the pit. Is he going to steal it? Oh! Ruby takes it instead. Razzle sees and desists. Jack Spectra, but he's not really going to be able to do too much. And then Bruce Abide on the back line as Ebby distracts three members of Fnatic. Jack Spectra on a killing spree as Razzle will fall. Ebby in the midst of four is unkillable, unstoppable. Cassante I wonder was going to decimate Heretics on the back line, but a good ultimate once again from Ruby stops him from getting onto the back line and it secures the team fight win for Heretics. They're looking to go three and three. They're looking to bring back this game and secure a massive win over Fnatic. What a win it would be. 
gets them out of that danger zone on their way to the group stage. Fnatic, though, after an early lead, still trying to hang on to some sort of hope. They do still have strong carries. Rise and Gwen at this stage in the game are nothing to be trifled with. The chain of corruption coming out, but Fnatic's Nexus towers are under siege and they have fallen. Wonder pops the stopwatch, but pop goes the Nexus. Team Heretics claim the victory. What a chaotic game from both.